Hey baddies, my name is Pinky and I'm an artist from Lynn, Massachusetts. And on today's video, I am actually going to show you my backgrounds that I use for all of my videos. I only have two. I have gotten some DMs asking me about my toys that I have in the background. What do I have there and what's it for? So I'm just going to give you a little tour of my background. So let me turn the camera around and let me show you. So we're going to start off with the fun corner. This is my fun corner. I love it so much. I can't wait for the plastic here to come off. I only put it there because, you know, it's winter time, so I need it to be nice and warm. Uh, but this is my banana, and the reason why I have the giant banana, I love bananas. I just think they're just random and they're cute. And I actually got that, and I have like three more. And I got it because I celebrated it last year for my birthday, and it was banana thing. So I want bananas. All right, so now I'm moving on to this side. This is my favorite side, and here is my all-year-round Christmas tree. Halloween Christmas tree to be exact. And let's start from the top and we'll go from the bottom so I can give you a tour. So yeah, a Halloween Christmas tree because I love Halloween. And this is a tree that I will never take down. It just stays up literally all year round. So from the top, I have a witch hat. When you lift up the witch hat, I have this Victorian skull doll. You can see she's very pretty. And I love this witch hat because it has like a veil. So as I go down on my tree, I have a lot of ornaments of things that I really, really like and that mean a lot to me. Um, gifts that are gifted to me that are very special. So I also have, I don't know why I said so. I also have um, all my art supplies that I use that I run out. I made them into ornaments such as like Angelus paint. These are all tubs that I have used. And yeah, I just made them into ornaments. My brushes that are, are no longer good anymore, I just dip them in pink glitter to make them all sparkly and pink and pretty. And I just hang them there like ornaments too. Uh, things that I like are this little bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I love Flaming Hot Cheetos. Of course, the Christmas Story ornaments, trolls, I love trolls. Coraline, I can watch that movie over and over and over again. More Christmas story ornaments here. Black because I love black, so I got the little black ornaments. Uh, this necklace, I love this necklace. I have another one that I wear and it says Freak on it. These little Arthur plushies, I love Arthur and I found these at Dollar Tree. They were only $1.25 because now everything's $1.25 plus tax. And then I do like burgers. To be exact, I like Wendy's. Wendy's is my favorite. Wendy's number six, to be exact. And going down, I have this skull garland. And these are actually straws, a Christmas story themed straws, but I just hang it here because it has this little loop thing to hang. So I'm like, why not make it an ornament, right? These were gifted to me. This is a uh, Rugrats ornaments. Love these and I like Rugrats. It's a huge part of my childhood. A uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Lights Spongebob. I'm a huge Spongebob fan. Patrick is my favorite, but I love, love, love Spongebob. All right, so moving up, I do have... Um, oh, this was gifted to me by Langus Goods. They mailed it to me and I thought it was like really nice of them that they mailed me their keychain, which by the way, I love their logo. I think it's super cute. And it, it's just a duck, but it's it's adorable. So I keep that there because I like to look at it. And oh, this. This was gifted to me by a really good art friend of mine. And 12 Customs. Oh, right here. I wasn't aiming it right. And he gifted me this. And the cool thing is he gave me the pink one because he knows I like pink. So yeah, I hang that here too. Because I don't want it to get ruined and I also like to look at it and it's a little it's an Air Force. Well, let me put it so people can see it. There you go. So yeah, that is my tree. I think I've had it up for like maybe like two years now. Alright, coming up next is this is a hat that I painted when I went to Disney World. Aladdin, so I keep it here on display. And here it is. I love this hat. And I have my bubblegum machine. It's an old bubblegum machine. 
I don't put real bubble gum in there because I really just use it for display. So I have like these sparkly foam little balls in there to make it look like it's bubble gum. All right, going down, I have another little tree. And it's from The Nightmare Before Christmas and also lights up. I have this from Atacraft. She makes really cute things and she did like this perfect pink bear. And I love this pink, love this color. And I keep that there because it's so adorable. And oh, this, this I actually got, ooh, when I first started my F is for Fiesta, I, I got this, I remember, and I think the video is still up. It's so cringy now that I look at it. But I remember painting this with my, I think, it wasn't a, was it a Posca marker? I don't know, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I kept the box and inside I have more markers in there. But I've had that for a while now. Then I have my little black drawers. And in my black drawers, this is where I keep, I have some batteries in there and stickers, things that I use to package things like shoes when I have to ship them out. A lot of paint brushes in there. When I need new ones, I just go in there and grab. Uh, oh, this lobster. So my husband actually bought me this dancing lobster and it's not on right now. I have to connect it, but it dances. And the reason why he got it for me is because I love lobster. Lobster is so delicious. I just like, but the, I'll only eat the tail. I'll only eat the tail and I think it's this part of the claw. I don't like the tip of the claw. I think it tastes gross. But yeah, it's just unfortunate that they don't have a lot of meat in it. I will not eat this part for sure. Definitely not. So just tail and this part of the claw. But I love lobster. And I have this suitcase over here. This I am waiting to paint, but I'm going to paint it. In here, actually, I do have some of my daughter's, my daughter and son's artwork. I keep it in here. All right, now moving on to this side over here. So when McDonald's um, had that limited edition, the Cactus Plant Flea Market, I went and everything was sold out. I was lucky because I wanted to just buy the toys. I just wanted the toys, the box. I didn't even care if they put the food in there or not. And in that time, they had only like one per person. And I think when we got there, that was it. And then they were done. I had gotten this one. My husband got this one. He gave it to me. And I'm missing the hamburger. And then I think it's the little um, birdie. I think that's her name. I'm not sure. That's the one that I'm missing. But yeah, I kept the box. The wrappers, the original wrappers of the toys are also still in there. So I kept everything there. And then let me just move up. I forgot up here. So up here, um, my little bat light here, neon light. This bat, I love it so much because one day my daughter came back from school and she said, look what I drew you. And it was a bat that she made on her own. And I thought it was the most cutest thing ever. So I, I keep it there on my wall. And then I have some paints here that I use as display. My name, this was gifted to me for Christmas too. And these Lingus Goods pins, I just keep them there. I love the duck. Here are some bats, some little sticker bats on my wall. This was also a gift. This was for my birthday and my sister gifted this quote to me and I put it in a frame. I really like it. And I know this is random. I have a quarter there, but the reason why I have the quarter there is because this quarter has a bat. See, a bat with her baby. So yeah. All right. So, and then I have some shoes there. Now moving on to the shelf. Oh my God. We're, we're at like almost 10 minutes here and this is, we're not even done yet. All right, so I hope I'm not boring you guys, but here's the shelf. Starting at the top. That cup was also gifted to me and it's a skull hand holding a cup. And then, oh, these earrings that I got done by my niece and she did my name, Pinky. I love those earrings. I love them so much. I keep them there because I don't want anything to happen to them. And then I just take them when I use them. 
and I make sure I put them back. Then this cup also, I bought from a small business on IG and she makes really great cups. And I just told her what I wanted. She did it, she made it happen. And it's just beautiful. Look, it's uh, Morticia Adams cutting a rose. I love the Adams family. I love Morticia, Morticia and Gomez. So yeah, I don't want to use that cup because it's just, I don't want to ruin it. I just don't want to ruin it. This is a cassette player. It's really old. So just because it has Frankenstein on it. So yeah, I have it on display. Then I have this little coffin and this is where I keep my business cards. The, uh, that coffin was actually for my wedding. I had a Halloween wedding. Then I have this bat bracelet. It broke and I keep telling myself I'm going to fix it have not fixed it yet, it's still there. But yeah, it's a bracelet with bats. Moving on down, I have this Princess Jasmine. She's my favorite Disney princess. Her arm and her foot are broken, but it's a little like musical box. Then I have, my husband gave me this. This is an Aladdin, it's like an older doll. One of our really good friends uh, gave my daughter a whole bunch of like old Barbies and this was in there and my daughter gave me this because she knows I like Sailor Moon. This comic book, my son actually gifted to me for a birthday of mine because he knows I like Sailor Moon. And then this Sailor Moon over here, I actually bought at Barnes and Nobles because I like Sailor Moon. I said that already like five times. And then this guy over here, I actually painted because he didn't look like that before. I think he had like red hair. I changed him up. Because we were looking at it and I was like, that looks like my husband. So, yeah, we painted him to look, you know, match the hair, added the glasses, mustache, whatever. So, yeah, so I keep that there. Uh, oh, moving on down. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of fun. I have my Selena Funko Pops here. So I have this one, which I think you can still buy out there. There's plenty of them. This one, this one, I made sure to like, the second we were able to buy it, go online and buy. I think the limit was like one or two that you could buy at the time. So yeah, I have to take care of these babies over here. This was an Alex and Ani bracelet that was given to me for a birthday. So I keep it here because I don't want anything to happen to it. And then I have these Frida Kahlo um, limited edition lipsticks and I actually gave these away for a giveaway, but I kept some for myself because the packaging is really, really pretty. And then randomly here, I have Tiger Balm, which I have to say, it works really well. If you have anything aching on your body, put some of that on and the ache goes away. Works really good. I have, oh, I have these like vitamins that my eye doctor sold me, even though she said, I'm not sure if it works or not, but I still bought them. Uh, Yoda, baby Yoda. Another coffin over here. This is string for beads. I haven't beaded in a long time. So let me put this away. These room sprays that smell so good from Bath and Body Works. Which, what are the scents? This is a so wetter weather. This is flannel and this is ocean. I love anything that smells like men's cologne. As long as it's like a good smell. This is the Selena Bump Box, which by the way, where is my Selena Bump Box? What happened to it? Oh, I better find it. I'll be pissed if I lost it. But yeah, it's a little mini boom box that you can hang on your neck. Oh, that's now that's going to bother me. I have to find it. But yeah, I have that. And then going down, I have these Sanrio Hello Kitty Pez little toys over here. And they're still in their, their box. So you see Hello Kitty and Melody. And then this is another Funko Pop Leonardo da Vinci. This was gifted to me by my husband, so I keep that here. And then this is from, remember the Hunchback of Notre Dame? This is like an old doll from them. Then going down, 
I, I, I love old things. I really love old things. And I think you can kind of tell by looking at some of the stuff that I have here. But yeah, this is a, an old Kodak camera. This is an old, old Bambi book. This one my husband gave to me. He knows I like old things, so he let me keep this. I'm trying to, I want to show you the year it is. Ah, see, that's why I have to be careful and I just like bent that whole thing. Isn't that nuts? Copyright 1929. But yeah, let me put it over here. Oh, that mushroom. I have more of those. I love mushrooms. This is a mask during COVID that I bought because it has bats. I went to Salem and I saw this. And I had to buy it. This is the most expensive mask I've ever gotten out of all my masks. This was $30 for this, for a mask. But it had the bats and it, it's beautiful. So I got it. Let's put that there. Alright, and then going down. And I don't know why I have my checkbook there. Yes, I'm a grandma. Like, I still write checks. My sister-in-law makes fun of me. These are boots of a uh, Build-A-Bear doll that I have. That I built. And the boots are here, the dolls upstairs. What's this? The random stuff, random stuff. This, my mom actually gave, gave to me a long time ago because she knows I like old things. So she let me have this. This was once hers. And this was, remember Avon? So she had like this cream and this is how it came. And you know, it's just very like pretty and detailed. And it had the dove at the top. And inside is, she kept it to like hold some buttons. So I have some really old buttons in there. And then I have some Loteria cards over here. Put this back too. And then I have this box. This box, sometimes I'll use it on my videos to display shoes. What's in here? Oh, some cords. A COVID test, a love note from my husband. So random. All right, moving on. Uh, as you know, my desk is always messy. Nothing new. Now here's my other corner. So my other corner looks like this. This one's more empty. This is the one that pisses me off because. The line is so crooked on the wall that I, I uh, that's also on my list to fix. I, ha I really have to like redo this whole room. But anyway, I have some true boxes on my wall. Uh, a banana neon light. Oh, you can't see it. It falls down all the time. This is why I have to like fix this uh, note I got from Angela's. A uh, note I got from... Langus goods. I keep them there. I should frame those. Oh, and then my little Bob Ross shrine. And I say shrine because if you guys were there on the live that I actually had over the weekend, which I had a ball, someone said, "What's is that our Bob Ross shrine behind you?" So yeah, that's my Bob Ross shrine. And then over here, I have my A Christmas Story DVD for display. This is like my emergency one if something happens to my other DVD, but yeah. And then moving on here, uh, I got that for Christmas because again, I like Flaming Hot Cheetos. That's my water bottle, another coffin. Then I have this like toy pencil, this water, this other little water bottle that looks like a, like a beer bottle. I also got from another small business. I love it, it's so cute. And it has my name, see? They put your name. And then going down, more Angela's paint. Change, a lot of change. Paperwork. And then here, 
I am working on it. I'm working on it because in this wall, I'm supposed to have all my favorite couples, all my favorite couples, and I only have one so far. Actually, on my other wall, I have Morticia and Gomez Adams, but I'm supposed to put more here and I haven't done it yet. So yes, that is tour of my walls. And next week, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I'm going to make a video of Valentine's Day special for Valentine's Day. So I have to see what I come up for you guys. So I guess I'll see you next week. Bye.